A vector can be multiplied by a scalar. A scalar quantity is a quantity that has magnitude or size only. Therefore, it is just a number. So taking this vector, for example, we multiply it by a scalar, so we we'll multiply it by the number 2. Multiplying the vector by 2 doubles its length. We multiply it by a positive scalar, we multiply it by plus 2. So the direction of the vector remains the same. Taking a second example, we multiply this vector by minus 5. Multiplying the vector by 5 makes its length 5 times longer. Since we multiplied by a negative scalar this time, so we multiplied by minus 5, the direction of the vector is reversed. Take a third example. Multiplying by the vector by a third makes it three times shorter. Since we multiplied by a positive scalar, the direction of the vector remains the same. And taking a final example. Multiplying the vector by a half halves its length. We multiplied by a negative scalar, so we multiply by a negative a half, so the direction of the vector is reversed. Multiplying a vector by a positive scalar changes the magnitude or size of the vector, but its direction remains the same. Multiplying the vector by a negative scalar changes both the magnitude and the direction of the vector. How do you multiply a vector by a scalar? A scalar quantity is a quantity that has size only. It has no direction. Therefore, it is just a number. When multiplying a vector by a scalar, you obey the basic laws of algebra. Here, vector x is given as 3i plus 2j, and the vector y is i minus 3j. We are asked to express in terms of i and j the following three questions. So the first part is vector x plus twice the vector y. So filling in for vector x. And filling in for vector y. Multiplying in by the 2, so you just obey the basic laws of algebra. So 2 by 1 is 2i. 2 by minus 3 is minus 6j. And then grouping like terms together. So the vector x plus twice the vector y is 5i minus 4j. In the second part, we're asked to find twice the vector x minus 3 times the vector y. So filling in for vector x. Multiplying in again, you just obey the basic laws of algebra. Grouping like terms together. And so that is your answer. For part 3, you'll have to find what's in the brackets first before multiplying by the 5. So filling in for vector x. y grouping like terms together So this is how you multiply a vector by a scalar.